why did God allow allow blacks to suffer? Now we'll explain. So God never created us to suffer. Mm -mm. Black people, we are the one who Hello guys, you're welcome back. My name is Bukumi BK. I hope you guys are feeling good. So we're gonna be checking out this video titled Why Did God Allow Black People to Suffer Like This? An African Christian asks Amedi that. But I want to ask something. If we are complaining that black people are suffering, what of white people? I think it should be fair that we should say, why did God allow people to, ah, well, let's find it out, guys. So let me talk now. Let's find it out. Why are we, we, we hear that and the Bible tell us that God created a man. And so all that we have a different, different nation here, population here. So now why did God allow, allow blacks to, to, oh, to, to be suffer? I understand man. I will explain. I will explain that. He has gone through a lot. You see, go, it's, the creation is a creation of God. But mankind, he creates his own standards of judging. Like for example, we are told by certain groups of churches that the black people of the earth are the children of Ham. You see, Noah, Noah, you heard the name Noah, after the flood, in the Genesis chapter 9 you read, Noah, after the flood, him and his three sons, Sam, Ham and Japheth, they started growing grapes. And from the fruit of the vine, they fermented the wine. And Noah drank too much. And he was lying naked. I'm reading this from the book of Genesis chapter 9. And out of his three sons, Sam, Ham and Japheth, Ham, Ham saw his father's nakedness. You know, sprawled out on the ground naked. And it was a big joke for him. So he laughed. Mm. Who laughed? Mm. Ham. You know how you spell ham? H A M ham. Mm. Ham. H A M ham you also spell for that piece of pig. See? You know the Englishman, he loves ham and eggs. Ham and eggs. How do you spell ham? H A M. That's right. So this person's name was Ham, one of the sons of Noah. His name was Ham. Ham. And he saw his father's nakedness and he laughed. Big joke. The other two sons, they felt remorse, ashamed of the father's condition. So they took a piece of cloth and they walked backwards and they covered up the father. The father in the meantime, he knew what was going on. But he was too dead drunk to do anything about it. But when he came into to his senses, he began to curse. Mm. And you remember the curse? Mm -hmm. He said, Curse be Canaan, for a servant of servant thou shalt be unto thy brother. You attend Bible class, don't you? You remember this? Curse be Canaan, for a servant of servant thou shalt be unto thy brother. So they tell us in a system, they say that we black peoples of the earth are the children of Ham, that fellow who behaved like a pig, laughed at his father's nakedness. So as such, we are to become the hewers of wood and the drawers of water. So, they want to see to it that you, you keep to your role. Your role is sweep the streets, carry the rubbish bin, work in the factories, whatever. This is your menial labor, that is your destiny. Now, this is the invention of man. See, man's own invention. God didn't make you so. He, as we are told, that he made us in his image. He made everybody upright. He says, he the Lord had made man upright. Upright means straight, going straight. So the invention of man, the devilishness in man, is finding excuses to how I can discriminate against you, create theories, weave stories, fairy tales, and around these fairy tales, I find justification for keeping you down. Now the Holy Quran, this book of God, the Quran, our religious book, it gives us an explanation mm. of the theory of race. And I would like you to judge mm. whether it answers the problems of mankind wow. or not. Okay. It says, and I'm quoting okay. in Arabic, the original, and I give you the translation. It says, Ya Yuhannas, say, O mankind, mm -hmm. the whole of mankind, whether Africans, Indian, Chinese, Eskimo, everybody. Ya Yuhannas, O mankind, inna khalaknakum min zakarim wa unsa. It is we, God Almighty says, we who have created the male and the female. 
They have created you all of a single pair, a male and a female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا And it is we who have made you into nations and tribes. What for? To discriminate against one another? No. It's the لِتَعَارَفُ That you may recognize one another. This Mr. John is a Zulu. That Mr. John is a Kaza. That Mr. John is a Swazi. Mm, that Mr. John is an Englishman. That Mr. John is a Frenchman. So that Mr. John is a German. For the purpose of recognition, he has made you into nations and tribes. Mm -hmm. But since man has a sickness of wanting to discriminate on false premises, yeah. so God Almighty gives us a standard. We all have a tendency to behave like that. All. There is no exception. There is no nation on earth who is an exception to this rule. That everybody wants to create standards of judging other people as inferior to themselves. Mm. You said the African just now. And I accept that the African is, in the South African context, he is at the lowest rung of the ladder. Economically, educationally, in the professions, he is at the bottom rung. That's we have to agree. But now, among the Africans, we have Zulus. I was questioning the students. I said, are you all Zulus? The majority way. Some said, no. She is a cause, mm. huh? Somebody said something, Chwana. But now, the majority of the people that are here in this institute are Zulus. Am I right? Yes. Right. Now, ask the Zulu. Ask the Zulu, what is Zulu? Is Zulu. What does it mean? Is Zulu. The heavens. No? Is Zulu. You are the heavenly people. Is Zulu. Huh. Hmm? <laughs> yes, that's in your mind. Is Zulu, we are the topmost people. Wow. That's Among cool. the Africans, who is the greatest tribe, the warrior nation, the topmost nation? Your title, the name, your name of your, your race is also Is Zulu. Is Zulu. And what about the others? What do the Zulu say? Isilwane. Am I right? What does he say about the others? The Khaza. The Swazi, the Chwana, what are they? Isilwane. No, this is the nature of man. Everybody. The Arab said, he said, I'm the Arab, means we are the eloquent people, and the rest of the world is ajam, meaning dumb. The Jew said, we are the children of God, and the rest of them are Gentiles. You know? Jews and Gentiles. What is Gentile? Means unclean, filthy, dirty people. All the rest of the world, uncircumcised. Filthy, dirty people. This is the nature of man. Every human being on earth, whether he's an Indian, whether he's a European, whether he's an Englishman, he feels better than the German. The German feels he's better than the French, and the French feels he's better than the Italian. So this is the nature of man. So God Almighty, God Almighty, He gives us a standard. See, since man has the sickness of creating false standards for himself, this Creator, God Himself, He gives us a standard. Yeah of judging between people. And the judgment is, it says, Inna akramakum in Allahi atkakum. So most certainly, the noblest in the sight of God is He who is the best in conduct. Not good or bad, not rich or poor, not black or white, but the best in conduct. If your behavior is better for mankind than mine, you are a better person. If my behavior mm. is better than yours for mankind, then mm -hmm. I'm a better person. It has got nothing to do with your race, your language, your color, or your riches. This is the standard as given by God Almighty in the Holy Quran, standard of judging between one and another. Your behavior, your conduct, your good behavior. Any other question? Mm. Wow. What a beautiful answer, guys. Like, like you said, God created us differently you know but we we try to segregate we always try to discriminate thinking that oh i'm better off than this, this person especially if you go to a white man country and you're black and you're in the country where you have lesser black people there you know they'll discriminate mis discriminate you they'll treat you badly you know the love the care like it's it's not that god actually made black people to suffer it's just the situation we put ourselves into is human beings that are selfish we are selfish human beings everybody's selfish one way or the other 
Yes. We always want to be among the league, our league, our color, our people. Now, sometimes a, a black person can say a white man or a white woman, and our first impression will be terrible. She'll be like, ah, what was wrong with, ah, see how this white woman said, look like, in your mind, you've already thought bad about the person because the person is a white. Same thing with blacks too, uh, whites too, they do that to blacks. So, God did not create us to suffer. God created us in different colors. God created us differently. But we are the one discriminating each other. Because if we can come as one, we can unite. There will be peace. You get it? And one thing I, I, I can say is that most black people that think they are suffering, they are the one allowing it. They are the one condoling it. People are in your country and you are hustling, 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 no matter what, your hard work will pay off. You cannot keep hustling, 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 and nothing will show for it. It's not possible, unless you relax. Unless you do today, tomorrow you relax, and you keep procrastinating. Because procrastination kills dreams. Procrastination, you know, if you think you have time, and that's when you know that there's no time at all. Because if you keep saying tomorrow, 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 that tomorrow will turn to one year, start to two years. And if you look down on yourself, there's no way you can make it, you get it. So it's one thing for you to put hard work in what you do, and another thing for you to relax and and believe God will do a miracle for you. No, it cannot happen. There are some people like that, blacks or white, or, but I will talk about blacks because I'm a black. There are some people like that that they are always relaxed. They, they will say, ah, God, am I suffering? This? You have what it takes to make money. God has given you the wisdom. God has given you everything. It's not left for you to sit down and calculate. It's not left for you to sit down and think about life. Because if you have budget, if you have goals, if you have dreams, there's no way you can suffer. There is no way, even though you don't have a dime, eh? There's no way you'll not get a family member or a friend or somebody that wants to assist you one way or the other. It might not be financial aspects, but with ideas. If you get ideas, with time, you can create something with it. So God never created us to suffer. Mm -mm. Black people, we are the one looking down on ourselves. We are the one always feeling that, oh no. White, white people are better than us. No! The same way God created them is the way they created us. It's just that our skin colors are different. So, I just love the way Amedida explained this, used the Quran to back it up. He spoke about a proof in the Quran in which God, you know, created us differently, but it's we humans that like to discriminate. You know, and he gave example of, you know, for instance, when you're in your country, we have different tribes. So, um, you see that this tribe, like now, he said in the auditorium where they were having the lecture, Zulu are more. Zulu is a language from South Africa. So I'm sure this um, lecture was taken in South Africa. So it's just, it's just normal. And you know, when you are in a place where your tribe is more, you want to be among your people and segregate yourself from the other. Like now, for instance, if you go to a foreign country and you're trying to adapt or mingle with them and they, because of this expression they have this mindset they have like they'll be like oh she's a nigerian maybe nigerian ghana and you go to a ghana country and they see they're like oh nigerians are bad this and that because of the bad you know things they feed them with or the movies they watch that they think all nigerians or this particular you know tribe is like this you f you notice that they will not want to relate so that brings about you uniting with your own tribe you get it but it's good to mingle because from there you learn you learn but if they don't want you to mingle with them then don't force it that's what i would say but i'll just wrap it up with god did not create us to suffer mm -mm. We just need to restrategize. We need to plan where and you know if you fail, try again. There's no harm in failing. No, there's no successful person on this earth that did not fail. There's no body that did not fail. Even though it's just once, you will fail because you have to go through the through the heat, the tension. You have to go through the stress. You know sometimes when you start something newly, you don't know how to go about it. So. It will not go well. Is that you make mistake or it will just go bad? But if you know what you are 
you know focusing on you have a goal you will you will try it again so that's all guys thank you so much for watching i don't want to talk too much ah, this is the first time i'm talking a lot i don't know why i'm talking so much today but but let's leave it at that thank you so much for clicking and watching god bless you don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one